Okay, hi, hello out there in uh, Fusion Teaching Land. Let me just shut this light off here. Okay, I am still with Sling another week and a half, and then I'll be uh, upgraded to five pound lifting limit. So <laughs> can't tighten any vices. Okay, the famous Titan 1M. My issues with feed and speed and fusion. All right. So we we'll look at face mill. This is pretty typical of all of it. So if we're looking at, uh, I just actually take a snip here of this here, right here. And this part right here. I want to save that for later. Okay. We have spindle RPM, ramp speed. Spindle speed, 2 RPM, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, if I'm teaching people to run surface feet per minute, right, 3,000. Notice it only updates that one. Or if you're hand typing in. Most people, those, they don't know this too, right? Mm -hmm. I did set a user parameter to update this one based on that one, but... And then we have cutting feed rate, which is based on this chip load right here. So if I want 4,000, so I get 91, 61 inches a minute. It does not update any of these. Now we have one, two, three, four more feet. You have five feed rates here, right? One, lead in, lead out, ramp, right? And plunge. These are these are entry moves, and these are slightly sideways moves. Um, let's look at master cam, right? Master cam, and I'm doing facing parameters. Tool. Spindle speed based on surface feed per minute, one RPM only. Feed rate, which is the sideways one, based on chip load, and then plunge rate and this is not based on anything I used to run a system called smart cam and you could set up some I guess a user parameters in the background and I would make this equal to like half of that so a little flaw in the system I think I think there should be a chip load setting for that one also but it's been like this for years over here but pretty simple and I think for most, pretty much most Fusion users do not need, I'm talking about advanced users too, they don't need all this stuff. What I propose is, because I'm sure some people are using it, you should have a checkbox here that clicks and turns on an advanced tab that gives you the advanced feed rates or a pop-out box. Um, sort of like if I am in a contour, right? So if you're in contouring, and right now if I had computer, these are my selections, right? If I am in where, I have more stuff open up. It's really a different selection box. So, computer and where? Where's got some more things to think about? Plus, there's more feed, more feed rate here. Uh, this will give you. Let's see if the first tool. Well, it's on 41. Okay, so it's based on something. So like multiple depths. I don't mind these because you can actually let me pull this up here. I think on the facing mill I can have the uh, the final cut be at a different feed rate than the other ones. That one I'm okay with. It's kind of separated so you can choose to have it or not. So if I'm in face mill up here and I was in uh, multiple depths right here. And if I want a finishing step, bang, I get this other box. And I can have a different feed rate. So I can separate that. So I think we should have, for 85% of us are not using 
this. We're just making them the same. We're, we're not using this. So either we're updating or not. And we should only have one down feed rate. It's either plunge or ramp. And it's by operation, so you don't really get it like, I think I'll do a plunge and a ramp. You know, it's, it's one or the other. And this one down here is per revolution, which honestly, I don't like that term, but I'll accept it. It's only adjusting the plunge, but not the ramp. So I will make a little sheet here and point to these things and tell and on this and I'll add it to this about what the majority of fusion users need. Uh, it's, it's kind of a nice feature, it's sort of like having every option you can think of in a car and you don't use most of them, but you know, most of us don't need like a super duper overdrive or something like that. But I think we keep the five feed rates, but only have, we keep one RPM cutting feed rate and plunging feed rate. Oh, what does Mastercam call it? Mastercam calls it uh, plunge. Yeah, call it plunge. Feed rate and plunge, right? And base the plunge off of this rub. You can get rid of the ramp. Don't need the ramp. But if you want to have a, a checkbox that says advanced feed and speed selections, then all of this would come up. So you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll chop up a box and make it the, the, what I would like to see. That would be actually make more sense. Okay, I'm back recording again. I had to take my sling off. I had to do some typing. So I just made a quick page here. I'm going to save this one. Save as this one. Save. All right. So there's a page right here. What I propose, most users only need one RPM setting, only one cutting feed rate based on feed per tooth, and only one plunge rate based on feed per rev. So plunge being associated with any entry move, meaning helix and all those, right? And that's it. Uh, and you can put, add a box here, advanced settings, and advanced settings will get you uh, this one, right? So, so it's one or the other. Get them all, or you get the basic, right? Get the basic. Oh, wrong one. No, my pictures go here. This one? No, not that one. Oh, this one. I think it should be simple like that. So let's do a, a quick screenshot of like a chamfer mill face. Oh, let me go on a first operation. And the equivalent is called uh, dynamic opti rough. That's like equivalent to. Uh, all right. I'm actually I'm using something called radial chip thinning. So that's actually something else in there which fusion does not have so this is like feed rate and this is radial chip thing so i get feed rate retract rate which is not effective if i have this rapid retract i think it used to gray this out so i got our machine runs 8 8100 so i just threw that number in there but with radial chip thing it actually brings it up to 126 inches a minute. So, all right, let me get a screenshot of that and I can add this to the, to the picture here. So, that was my issue number one. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Put that out of the way, okay. I think for quite some time now, we've had this uh, warning here. Cannot plunge outside stock. I've gone on the forum and stuff like that, and everybody says, "Well, it's not a, uh, it's a warning. It's not a, it's not a stoplight. I'm like, it's no yield sign." I'm like, okay, but I think we shouldn't have issues like this. Um, 
I do know if I change my entry move let me squeak this up a little bit from plunge to helix it goes away right so I started playing around with settings in here thinking like did I just did I crash into the bottom or something I'm gonna go back now it says plunge outside stock and that warning saying something about plunge outside stock which is not what this is plunge outside stock would be approaching from the outside we're doing let's see get rid of that let me oh you know what I may have stumbled upon something here this is outside this is inside let me put this on back to plunge right I get the warning size but on this one I'm going to only link this hit OK I still get a warning sign right let me shut this one off so the warning says cannot plunge outside stock I am not outside the stock at all and I don't believe I am crashing these are the yellow line green line this is kind of where you're this is I don't know if this was a plunge move I think you can uh, this one all right the green is a lead-in the ramp is a that's green also this plunge is a red okay so it's really a controlled movement into the material and from pretty high up we could squeak that down more so I see no crashing in juice and I don't understand what this means I'll put it back on the forum again so I'll do a screencast and throw it back out there I thought I was thinking like this is inside this is actually outside so uh, this is how Titan teaches it and then we go back and pick that boundary there so that does that successfully and jumps up and over all right minor but my biggie is that the feed and speed drives me crazy so um, what else was I saying oh I was just gonna also cover my uh, my setup sheets my I'm sorry my uh, not my setup sheets mm, let me get my CNC mill setup tech and setup only so these are my um, I made these sheets based on the Titan uh, checklist so only mine was a little bigger we kind of I can I walk everybody through this part but this should be we have a friend at a university in Worcester that he made a book because every time the four-year college students would come by and do their projects they forget how to set the machine up so he made a, a book and uh, so this is kind of like our quickie book here but we definitely go over this part the run checklist so prove out load program run graphic simulation memory then put rapid override 25 turn on optional stop then step four is set dry run z plus two inches above part which is g92 and the z work offset uh go to memory mode cycle start program dry run in the air to learn see any issues verify complete okay if that goes well and i have them also turn the um coolant off we turn the coolant valve off instead of them chasing the coolant button then we go to cut metal or make chips we still got 25 percent we still got the optional stop on covering the red button we're going to single block our way all the way down set position screen to distance to go and, and then when we get halfway in between I have them do a halfway stop for especially first time around I stop the spindle we stop the spindle open the doors measure with a tape measure our machines are in setup mode on the key switch so we can open the doors 
and then we'll finish that move and then we switch the position screen to the G54 position and now we, we verified all this and we did another double check at the height and get them thinking about the heights like this is what it looks like because now that's a real part there then if all looks good turn off the single block we've done enough simulation here cycle start and run and then you know you want to talk to them about this one stay near the feet hold get in tune with the sounds look at the load meter inspect it we'll look at the part after each tool is cut blow it off check and go back to single block in there every time and then inspection which now i've included better setup sheets where they're getting getting in tune with inspection more because it's more laid out instead of me just talking to them all the time and i'm recording a lot of this stuff all right so my three topics i wanted to talk about were those three and it's 16 minutes so that's enough for me i know the raise lost but uh Second place is better than last place, okay? And I, now I'm a converted Red Sox fan to Rays, and now I'm kind of like a little bit of a Buccaneers fan because of Brady and Gronkowski. Even though they probably wouldn't play each other unless they ended up in the Super Bowl, and I don't think the Patriots are going to end up there this year, which is unfortunate. Okay, talk to you guys later.